Hello my friends, today we will start chapter 7 and visit far outpost to find a way to get shot to the moon. Take your chance to have a look at our insane danger mario damage build as well. Please enjoy the video and subscribe if you want to support the channel. Hello my friends and welcome back to Paper Mario the Southern Gear Door. Um, we are currently going for the last second to last chapter of the game I would say. I don't know how they actually... I didn't want to talk to all you guys. Get out of my way. <laughs> um, you better watch your back. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, we are going for the next chapter, the 8th to be specific. And at the end of the last part, we have changed our build quite a bit. As you can see, we are only running 5 HP and that has a good reason. Because we are currently playing Danger Mario. <laughs> Danger Mario build. I think I will make a short guide on it, how to create the build and what its strengths are. But as you can see, we are only having 5 life at the moment. But this isn't too bad, to be honest. Because we can increase our defense by a lot. We can actually equip the uh, badges that will half the damage that we take multiple times when we are below 5 HP. Mario shoots to the moon. Okay, let me make it a bit louder for me. And we can increase our damage into not infinity but a very big number. We are currently playing the hammer build. That means we can only use hammer attack. I only do this because I wanted to make the game a bit harder. I think jumping is way too strong, so we switched for the hammer version. It's so stupid. Uh, it's stupid cold out there. Come on, Gonzalez. Let's move. Far outpost should be just up ahead, I think. And yeah, this is why we are playing the hammer build. We could go for the jump build and we would deal insane amounts of damage <laughs> compared to this build. But I think we will one shot most of the en enemies anyway like this. It could be the case that we game over a bit more. Um, it's been a week since I've recorded a part cause I was on vacation. So we have one life mushroom. I think we need to stock up on life mushrooms <laughs> as soon as we can. We have upgraded most of our partners up to this point. Shines bright and yeah, a little demonstration of the damage we are dealing right now. Normally we should deal 6 damage with our hammer attack, but we are dealing 14. <laughs> 14 damage with a normal hammer attack. Mm, yes, that's quite strong I would say. Bam, bam, bam. Did they crank up the difficulty a bit in this game? They have 9 HP. But yeah, that, this would be kind of regular. You would maximum need 2 normal attacks on those enemies if you played the game normally. And not like a maniac as I do. Uh, switch my partner out. Forgot to use the fast switch menu. Seven days can ruin a lot of short term memory. Uh, let's head back one room. I want to see whether we can find some secrets. Oh, there should be something nearby. Um, yeah, we will still keep on treasure hunting as hard as we can. There should be something nearby. Okay, this is a good sign. Right next to us, we got the star piece. <laughs> she is just the best partner you can have. Oh, there's even more stuff. There's something right near us, sweetie. Okay, where could it be? Probably right... Here? Where is it, my sweetie pie? Okay, we have to... There's something right near us. It's still to the right. No, now it's to the left. Is it on the tree line? Okay, yeah, it must be on the tree line here. Dang. But it's super well hidden. Maybe we have to do a super jump or something behind the tree. Or just walk here. Hmm. Let's do a super jump into the tree. No, it, it didn't work. <laughs> Hit this one? No. Okay, where are you, my little secret? Stop hiding from me. <laughs> I don't want to waste too much time. But it must be on the tree line. She looks to the right here. She should look to the left here. There's nothing to stomp as it looks. Maybe on this side of the tree. 
Unfortunately, the tree will push us over to the side if we jump here. Uh, maybe if we hit the tree a bit more. Hey. Oh, there it is. Double dip. Let's your partner use up two items. Ooh, it's a good badge. It can be a good badge. I think they are super expensive. We need a lot of PP. Uh, three, it's not even too expensive, to be honest. <laughs> um, yeah, we could use this at one point if we, when we have enough BP to equip stuff that we don't want to equip. You struck first. And now you can see the damage the jump does. It already does 20 damage just from pure jumping. And if you equip the multi-bounce badge, you will just be close to one-shotting everything. And not even that. Jumping is also way easier because you can equip the anti-spike badge to hit on, uh, jump on enemies that are spiky and the anti-flame badge so that you can jump on enemies that are burning and actually even deal some bonus damage. So this is the reason why we are playing the hammer build. What? <laughs> he bit my hammer. Yeah, we are only taking one damage because of all the damage reduction we are currently uh, Quake Hammer. Okay, it's hidden down there. Ten. Ten damage. Yeah, because of all the damage reduction we are having equipped right now. So we are not in danger to die too easily. And that's one of the big strengths of the build. Even though it looks like we are close to dying one shot all the time, we will never die. Never ever. <laughs> I will die. No, <laughs> don't worry guys. The first time we will not one-shot everything in the room, there's a big chance that they will strike back and maybe hit us in the face. There should be something nearby. I hope it's not too boring if I go for the treasure hunt all the time. Okay, it's to the left. But we want to find as much stuff as possible. Oh, I can't see her. Something right near us, sweetie. Oh no, not this one, please. Oh. <laughs> we missed a coin, but we like coins, we love coins. The oil dude made us pretty rich so that we are not in a in a pinch of poorness, but I always prefer having more coins than less. Okay, I don't think they are earthbound. No, this is the first problem we will encounter with our build. Um, you have to go to the front, otherwise we have a problem. Da, 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 da. We could make them dizzy. I think this will be a good... Oops, no. Okay, this should be fine. At least one or two of them should get dizzy. <laughs> dizzy. Yeah, I have to switch back to English after my vacation. <laughs> so, please forgive me if my pronunciation is sometimes a bit off. And she actually stunned the right targets. We can get rid of the plant and will not get hurt the next round. I like the music and we have also the lucky badge equipped. That means they will miss us even more often. She, he came down, so let's slap him. I still think this is one of the easiest action commands. <laughs> it will just fill instantly. Hammer throw. Get rid of this thing. It looks super dangerous, so better not mess with it. For whatever reason, the hammer attacks are dealing way less damage than the hammer itself. It feels like they've even nerfed. Mm, is this a contact um, damage thing? Yeah, okay, that's not good. It feels like they've even nerfed the hammer. I, I always felt like the hammer was the worst weapon of the two. Hammer throw. Or I couldn't say they nerfed it because I've never played it, because jumping is so insanely good. But it's a weird feeling that I think it's even, yeah, getting reduced damage from using its attack. And the, the, uh, the strongest thing in this build with the jumping badge is the multi-bounce, cause you will deal the power of your number damage uh, with it. For example, we deal 10 damage with a single jump right now. We would deal 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4 and so on. Mm. Yeah, 
we have to play a bit more defensively. <laughs> Our partners are getting really weak at this point. As you can see, she's only dealing five dam uh, four damage to 10 dam HP enemies. Uh, the Cloud could use the Dizzy Dial. Let's use our Hammer Throw. Tang. Oh, little Cloud. And we are getting massive amounts of Star Points. Oh, Defense Plus. Don't need it, but I take it. And it's on Yusta Mario. Okay, that's fine. Ching. Thanks for the Defense Plus. <laughs> <laughs> this would have ended badly. And now we are in peril area. That means we are dealing five additional damage. This is the absolute peak of Mario damage performance <laughs> you can achieve. So be grateful that you are allowed to see it together with me. No, we found a single HP in there. That kills the build, but it also prevents us from dying. They're so sneaky. Sneaky little piranha plants. Oh, thanks. No flying enemies enemy anymore, so you are screwed. Not hammer throw, quake hammer. Ding. 10. 20. <laughs> That's insane. I think we are a tiny bit under leveled. We're getting so much XP here. But guys, what do you think we will take? 30 FP feels kind of good. We will go for the BP maximum. We will push it as far as we can. As the game allows us to. And I think the maximum is 60. So we are only two level ups away. And after that... Oh, we are an A-list star now. That means our battlefield... Or our... Um, stage got bigger. Okay, we can equip more stuff now. Let's... First of all, sort it by type. Do we have more defense? Charge, don't really need it. HP, no. FP, could be used. No, no, no. Power down, power down. No, no, no. Damage dodge is always good. Defense plus partner, not needed. Last stand. This is all partner stuff. I think we have... <laughs> this is just a random chance for them to miss Mario at every point in the game. Damn it, ice power is only one. Oh, this is insane. Okay, I think we will go for... I don't really know what... Double pin? Double pain? Oh no, double damage. That would be kind of bad. We could you go for Ice Smash, but we will one-shot everything anyway <laughs> that we will hit first. So let's go for Ice Power. It reduces the damage you take from Ice by one. Maybe this could save our life. Oh, HP plus partner. Our partners are super tanky anyway. We don't really need to increase their HP. And another super... Super well hidden secret. Is it again on the tree path? Or here? Yay! We found the star piece of destiny. There should be something in the brushes. Thank you. Oh no. Something to the left. We have to backtrack. There should be something nearby. It's right near us, sweetie. Probably in this brush here, <laughs> another coin. Yeah. Nothing left. Let's go. The piranha plants distracted me, otherwise I would have gotten rid of the coins straight away. But now the area is clear and we can go on with our little adventure into the bomb bomb village, the far outpost. Yeah, everyone is freezing here. They are wearing little cool hats. So, this is Far Outpost. I don't see any cannon that can shoot to the moon. I guess we should start by chatting with the villagers, don't you think? Mm. I know this wasn't the right voice, but <laughs> I have to get used to it again. Welcome to Far Outpost. Oh, that is quite good lip warmer you have got. 
Okay, I now give you my special mustache viewing personality analysis. Yes. Um, yes, um, yes, yes, I have got it now. Your brushy broom means that you are stubborn and selfish, man. How did I know? I have certain experience with mustaches like you, uh, like that, you see? Hmm. Seems like they are not very fond of mustachioed guys. Okay, there should be something right near us. To this wall again? Yes. Easy catch. Nothing here. Okay, we can talk to the inhabitants of this little far outpost. This is Bomb Bomb Village, the Bluey. There's nothing here, the Blue As you can guess from my Kablami, reserved demeanor, many Bomb Bombs only open to other Bomb Bombs. Uh, this could be a hint. I think I will go for Mr. Bomb Bomb Man. Bomb Bomb Village, blah blah blah. It seems like he just wanted to give us the hint to take up Bobbery as our little side companion. A closed door. Hello, traveler. First time in Far Outpost? Kabui? What? Far Outpost cannon? Oh, uh, I apologize that. No, I just had distraction. It is nothing. Kapoi. I think they are hiding something from us. Snow is rare for you. Bakak. In Far Outpost, it falls all year round. Ba bang. I like watching it shine and glow. Sunset. In glow of sunset. Hey girls! We are the Chili Wanderers, the Traveling Sister 3. We came to Far Outpost for the skiing and ice skating, but there's nothing here. It's cold, it's cold. I, I told you we should have at least checked the guidebook before we came here. <laughs> you must give, give them credit, they are faster than Mario at every single location. I make big snowbob today. Maybe I am big as him someday. Hawaii. But I do not want the melting to happen to me. Kapumi. <laughs> Snowman, igloos, snow fights? Yes, all good, but snow gets boring sometimes. Chaboom. Boring! Snow is the best stuff in the world. Oh, monsieur, de la moustache. I've tried too many times to talk to the girl in the inn, and she kicked me out. So now I must use the heat of my feelings for her to melt the snow. <laughs> Chew. Okay, you can try your best hitting on the girls everywhere in every city, but it will never work, it seems like. No, I don't want to sleep. Thanks for the offer. Let's see what you have in store. Oh, shooting star. Very good, very good. Don't need it, don't need it. Very expensive as well. Oh, a cannon. I know nothing, Shabui. I know nothing about local cannon loving nicknamed Big Bob. Shashoom. Yes, what business do you have here? What, a cannon? No such thing as here. Now listen here, you are the mayor. How can an official like you lie that way? Oh boy, I know I saw a cannon the last time I was here, so do not lie, sir. Shush, you call yourself a bomb bomb? I spit at you. <laughs> you know, Ruth, there is to be no mention of cannon to non bomb bombs. No mention. We must not allow it to be used for evil. Of course, I know all that, you great blowhard. But we must use the cannon to get to the moon, old boy. And if we don't, sir, the world could end. Hmm, oh, world could end? Oh, uh, well, we cannot have that now. Still, you cannot use cannon right now because of certain circumstances. Circumstances? We must have permission of Ghoul Bob to use cannon. He is the one who started whole blasting things to faraway places policy. Once he got rich, he let business slide and does not start it up again. Also, General White was the one who devoted himself to operation of cannon. But he was so depressed by losing off job that he took cannon key and ran off to some settlement far, far away. Gold Pop and General White? Yes, that is correct. If you want to use cannon, you must find Gold Pop and General White. Very well then, we can't give up now, old boy. Mario, the search is on, let's go find these two bomb bombs. Well, once you find them, come back and talk to me. Okay, I totally must say I don't know which one is the white one. It's so peaceful, ba boom. Far out coast is nice, restful place, ba bloom. 
Looking at night sky makes me feel vastness of space. Lots of space. Ba -ba boom. <laughs> the bows are power up for our hammer is really amazing. Okay. Now I just wanted to say what kind of secret is hidden here, but we found it straight away. Okay, there's more stuff to find in this little far outpost. There should be something nearby, maybe here? No. But she is reacting, so the star piece is hidden right next to the cannon. Even more stuff. Okay, we are getting rich. There should be something nearby. Okay, but it must be in the back, shouldn't it be? Okay, it looks like it's in the back here. There's something right near us. Oh, I see it. It's hidden here. An in coupon. Wow. Awesome. Let's use it right away to get rid of it in our inventory. Use the coupon. Huh? You seem rested. You want to stay anyway? I will stay anyway. Did you get a good night's sleep? Please enjoy a meal made by Chef Zesty featuring local ingredients if you're hungry. Take care and see you again. It's a space food. Replenishes 5 HP. She's making really weird food to be honest. I don't know why everything is hyping her up so much. She's destroying like 90% of the ingredients you're giving, <laughs> giving to her. <laughs> and she's only making weird food most of the time. I think that could be a better chef to be honest. Okay, um, the gold bob arm must be in Koshley Heights. But the white one, which one was the white bob arm, dude? Chang, chang. I think we have to search a bit for it. This is the first time I don't know the solution to a puzzle. Oh, this is exactly what I wanted to see. Quake hammer attack. Let's see how much we get from this fight. Still 15. <laughs> yeah, it's totally worth to fight the enemies here. We are getting showered in experience. Money, 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 and in money. For whatever reason, when I hammer him, he will get the... Um, how do you say it? The do 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 of the doubt. <laughs> it's my hit, not yours. Die for it. Stupid little planty manty. Yeah, our partners are not rocking anymore. They are not dealing enough damage to one-shot everything. Oh, I was going for the B move. <laughs> Just because I thought he was hitting Mario, but not the case. Ching ching, die little cloud man. Go got one star point times six. Okay. But I don't think I will refight every single enemy here, of course. We will get the massive amounts of EXP anyway if we progress on further. But the fight against the four flowers is just so insanely good. <laughs> we cannot leave it behind. Okay, let's head over to Poshley Heights by using our shortcut system. Hello. Hello, my little underground friend. Wait, 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 wait. I still don't have memorized what's the fastest way to go about the stuff here <laughs> at all the time. So I will just head to the surface to Rogueport and walk over to the pipe that leads directly into the portal room. Who is the white bob -omb? I feel like it's in the back of my head. Just waiting to pop out the answer. <laughs> oh, we could check out our little lottery board. I need mushrooms to resurrect us in case of danger let's read it all numbers we are matching one this is perfect we will get a life mushroom for this exactly what i wanted i didn't even want to win so thanks for that my friendo i will leave now to a better place Okay, are you selling something awesome? 
Nope. Actually, you are selling some quite some good stuff, but nothing we need right now. Okay, is the bomb bomb somewhere here? Is, is it related to you? When I was a lad and blowing up all the time, some mates I respected once told me, exploding without thinking is like drinking coffee. Oh, I think I just remembered. Wasn't there this sniffling bomb up in the Cooper Town? I think this is the one. He was so sad all the time and I wanted to help him, but there was nothing we could do about its sadness. Dun, 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 dun. Close call only for our partners. Simplifier. No, 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 no. Uh, nothing we need. I think the FP drain will re decrease our damage. Isn't this like this? Yeah, but I will take it anyway. Only 150 coins. Wow, this is such a good deal. I cannot... I cannot not take the deal. Yeah, I think it was the Cooper at uh, the bomb up in the Cooper Town. Cooper Town, Cooper Town. Why are you in Cooper Town? Probably he d because he didn't want to live in the... Let's have a look at it first. I want to check it out. He didn't want to live in the snow again or anymore. So he ran away to a lovely little paddle meadows. Is he here? Let's hope so, otherwise I'm screwed. But where is he? <laughs> is he living in some house? Or am I misinterpreting the things I saw? Maybe my memory is playing a trick on me. Ouch. Yeah, this is actually a way you can trigger the peril Mario thing. You can just walk into water or other hazards to decrease your life by one to get down to one HP easily. Mr. Bomb Bomb. Let's hope he's here, otherwise... Nope. Wasn't there a dude sniffling all the time and wasn't it a Bomb Bomb dude? This should be the exit already. Yeah. Okay, maybe um, my memory is playing a trick on me. Should I leave? Let's inspect it a bit more. Or was it the guy that was um, sad because of the Princess Peach poster he lost? Would have been awesome if this was the right case here. <laughs> but it doesn't look like it. No. Nothing here to be seen. Let's head over to the gold bomb bomb first. Okay, I think I will have to really go into my mind in the next part to see who this guy was. Oh, it's the seventh chapter, not the eighth. Oh, well, the seventh shortcut. Okay, let's head over to the gold bomb bomb and see what kind of task he demands from us. Or maybe he will already be an... Um, in a good mood, because we helped his little kitty and we talked to them all the time and helped him them a little bit on their little small adventures. Or is she the white one? Good day to you, Gonzalez. What can I do for you today? I want access to the cannon. What? What's that you say? You must use the cannon and fire outpost to save the world? Uh, well, that is rather a pickle, isn't it? Very well then. I certainly owe you a favor or two, hmm? Yes, I should say. The truth is, I had hoped to resume my business with the cannon someday. And just between us, I only stopped because the wife said she didn't like the noise. <laughs> That's a good reason. Sadly, it takes a hefty bit of coin to get the cannon working, so I need you to demonstrate just how much you want to use the cannon. If it were a matter of money, just how much would you pay, if I may ask you? I don't want to pay anything, but I think I have to pay everything. All of them? Really? So really, really? Yes? Well, I suppose I'm just surprised to hear you say that. Staggered, actually. You know that means you'll be left with zero coins. With absolutely nothing. Would you do that? 
I should have spent my money first if he actually takes it. I mean, think of it, man. If you spend all your coins, and I mean all of them, you would certainly face a great deal of difficulty down the road. But hold on, I want to make sure you're doing this fully aware of consequences. You won't regret it later. You won't, uh, you won't say just kidding later on or any sort of too foolery like that. I can really take them all. <laughs> yeah, let's go for it. Well, all right then. But this is just peanuts for you, man. You don't need it. Mm, well, you've certainly shown me something, sir. So I give my permission for you to activate the Far Outpost Cannon. Cool, Pops, pass. Oh, and I wasn't serious earlier, my dear fellow. How could I take your money? <laughs> it's a shame, I suppose. But I return your money. Yeah, it would have been a shame if you <laughs> would have taken it. Now swords are on, my boy. I think I would have even restarted and <laughs> just spent it everything and went here with one coin or something. Okay, guys. Um, is there anything sad about a white... Bomb bomb. Fabulous Express, Boutique, Rushing says, come on, come on, so rich, you don't... Cooking for rookies? No. Alright, guys, and thanks for watching. I will brainstorm a bit more to find the location of the white bomb bomb, and please tune in next time if you want to see us probably getting shot to the moon. See you then. Bye-bye.